Suavemente, besame, que quiero sentir tus Merengue is a popular Latin American dance that originated in the island of Hispaniola, specifically the Dominican Republic. It is characterized by having a clear beat and a constant rhythm. But what's most interesting about merengue is its origin, something that still remains a mystery today. There are two popular stories that explain the origin of merengue. One story alleges that the dance originated with slaves who were chained together and, of necessity, were forced to drag one leg as they cut sugar to the beat of the drums. The second story alleges that a great hero was wounded in the leg during one of the many revolutions in the Dominican Republic. A party of villagers welcomed him with a victory of celebration, and out of sympathy, everyone dancing felt obliged to limp and drag one foot. Merengue is best described as a culture clash. It has both African and French influences, and has existed since the early years of the Dominican Republic. Hi, I'm Jennifer from the Creative Movement Company. Today I wanted to talk to you about merengue. It's a Latin social dance, and it's probably the easiest dance that you could possibly learn. We're gonna get started with the history. Way, way, way back when, in the Dominican Republic, otherwise known as the DR, there was a story that goes that a man went away to fight in a revolution in the country. When he came back, he actually had a wounded leg. So when the villagers tried to welcome him with this victory celebration, he actually had a bit of a limp with his wounded leg and they thought that they would show sympathy by also dragging one leg and limping around, dancing with him. Another story goes that African slaves came over to the Dominican Republic to work in the fields and cut down the sugar. And while they were there, they had their ankles chained around where they had to stand really close together. And when they did movement with African drums while they worked in the fields, they kept their legs close together and the movement became really small, repetitive motion with a lot of knee work and hip action, which led to what the dance became now today. Merengue is dance to merengue music, which I know might sound obvious, but some dances are actually dance to other types of music. Merengue is really energetic, it's fast paced, and it has a really, really consistent beat, which is why I said it's probably the easiest dance out there to learn. The beats are consistent and so are the steps. You're literally stepping back and forth on each foot. Typically you dance it with a partner. One's the lead, one's the follow. You would stand in close hold and you continue to step on those constant beats. The purpose of this video is not actually to show how to do the dance, but rather kind of the background behind it and why it got its name and those sorts of things. And speaking of its name, Merengue got its name from the confectionery sugar and egg white mix. Um, when you mix it around, you're literally doing things in a circular motion to pr prepare the meringue. And when you typically dance merengue in traditional style, you would dance it in a circular fashion and that's how it got its name. Um, also, this dance is still danced all over the world. It's widely popular and it's actually the national dance of the Dominican Republic still to this very day. So odds are, if you go out dancing in the U.S. and there's Latin music playing, you're going to hear merengue. Go ahead and get out there on the dance floor.